Republicans, KA Hamilton theorem. So, what is KA Hamilton theorem statement? Every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equations. So, problem based on Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, first verify Cayley Hamilton theorem for the matrix A. A equal to 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. Hence, find A inverse and A power 4. So, we have to verify CHT and hence find A inverse and A power 4 using CHT. So, so first step, step number 1, to find characteristic equation. So, how to find characteristic equation for 3 by 3? We know that characteristic equation for 3 by 3 is lambda cube minus h1 lambda square plus h2 lambda minus h3 equal to 0. Where h1 is sum of the main diagonal elements. Here yeah, diagonal elements are 1, 1, 1. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3. h2 is sum of the minor of the main diagonal elements. What is the minor of 1? Minor of 1 is leave the first column and first row. So, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1. Then minor of this a to 2. So, 1, 3, 1, 1. And then minor of 1 is leave this row and column. We get 1, 0, 2, 1. So, determine an expansion 1 into 1 is 1 minus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1. 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 3 is 3. 1 into 1, 1 minus 0. So, much 0 minus 2 plus 1. Right? So, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. S3 is determinant of A. Determinant of the given matrix is 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. What is the determinant? 1, 1 into 1 is 1, minus, minus 1 into minus 1, plus 1, minus 0, so 0 into anything, 0, plus 3 into, 2 into minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. So we get 0, here yeah, 0, here yeah, minus 3, so minus 9. So what is the characteristic equation? Substitute the value of S1, S2, S3 in the formula. We get a lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3, right? Lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3, so plus 9 equal to zero, which is the required characteristic equation. Step 1 is to find CE characteristic equation. Step number 2. So, first step, first we want to verify CHT, right, by using Cayley Hamilton theorem, right. So, by CHT, CHT means Cayley Hamilton theorem. What is the Cayley Hamilton theorem statement? Every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Therefore, here in characteristic equation, replace lambda by a. So, a cube minus 3a square minus a plus 9. Here, all the terms in terms of matrix, so we have to write it in matrix. So, 9i, i is the unit matrix. So, we want to verify Cayley Hamilton theorem. Question is verify Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, we want to verify this equation. So, what is LHS? So, take the LHS. LHS is a cube minus 3a square minus a plus 9i. So, first find a square and a cube, substitute and verify whether it is equal to 0 or not. So first find a square matrix. What is a square? A into a. A is the given matrix. What is the given matrix? 1, 0, 3, 
2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 into e 1 zero three two one minus one one minus one one. So just multiply first row first column, first row first column one into one is one plus zero into two is zero plus three into one is three. A one two position right this A one one first row first column this is the position A one two first row second column first row second column. One to zero zero, zero into zero zero, three into minus one minus three. This is a one three position. First row, second third column. First row, third column. One into three three, zero plus three. So now the second a two one position. Second row, first column. Two into one two plus one into two two minus one. Two into zero zero, one into one one plus one. Two into three six one into minus one minus one minus one three into one one in third row first column one into one is one plus minus one into two minus two one into one is one one into zero zero minus one one into zero zero minus one plus minus one then three into one three plus one plus one so we get How much? Four minus three, six. Four minus one, three, two. Six minus two, four. Zero minus two, three plus two. But this a square matrix. Similarly, find out the a cube matrix. That is a square into a. Similarly, find out the matrix a cube. What is a cube? A square into a. A square. We already find out that four minus three six three two four zero minus two five into a. Present a is equal matrix one zero three two one minus one one minus one one. Just if you multiply, we get the answer. A cube is four. Minus nine twenty one eleven minus two eleven one minus seven seven. So what is it? So what is it? We want to verify the Cayley Hamilton theorem. That is, we want to verify this equation: a cube minus b a square minus c plus nine a equal to zero. So what is the left hand side? A cube. Minus three a square minus a plus nine i. We want to verify whether it is equal to zero or not. If it is zero, then the Cayley-Hamilton theorem is verified. Substitute the values a cube and a square. What is a cube? Four minus nine twenty one eleven minus two eleven one minus seven seven. Minus three a square. What is a square? A square is four minus three six three two four zero minus two five. Minus a. A is the given matrix. What is the given matrix? One zero three two one minus one one minus one one. My plus nine i i is the unit matrix. Unit matrix for three by three is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So let us. Four minus nine twenty one eleven minus two eleven one minus seven seven. Just multiply with the three. Three fours are twelve. Mm. Multiply with only three. So minus nine. Three six are eighteen. Three threes are nine. Three twos are six. Three fours are twelve. Three twos are six. Three fives are fifteen. 
minus 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, plus 9, 9, so 9, 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 9. So just addition and subtraction of the two matrices. So here minus to so subtract, here minus to so subtract, here plus, so add, right? 4, 4 minus 10 is minus 8, minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9, minus 9 plus 9 is 0. Minus 9, minus 9 plus 9 is 0, 0, 0. So we get all the elements 0. So which implies a cube minus 3a square minus e plus 9a equal to 0. Hence, CHT is very fine. So, first part is over. Very fine, k into Milton theorem. Then what is the next question? So, to find a inverse. So, we have to find a inverse using k into theorem. Right? So, step number 3. Step number 3 to find A inverse using Cayley Hamilton theorem. To find A inverse using CHT. Right? So by CHT, by CHT, that is step number 2. Step number 2 we have A cube minus 3A square. Minus a plus 9 9 equal to 0. We want to find a inverse, therefore throw out multiply by a inverse. So multiply by a inverse on both sides. So multiply a inverse into a cube as a power 2 minus 3 into a power 2 into a inverse is a minus a a inverse plus 9 a inverse equal to 0. So a cube minus 3 a a a inverse is identity matrix by the property plus 9 a inverse equal to 0. So which implies we want to find 9 a inverse so 9 a inverse equal to minus a cube when is a cube or a square? a square, right? Throw out multiply by a inverse. So a square minus plus 3a this side. What is a inverse? 1 by 9 into minus a square plus 3a plus 1. Right? Substitute the value of a and a square, we can get we can get the value of a, a inverse. So substitute the values. Right. So A inverse equal to 1 by 9 into minus of A square. A square, what is the value of A square? A square value is 4 minus 3, 6, 3, 2, 4, 0, minus 2, 5. A square value. Plus 3A. A is the given matrix. Given matrix value 1, 0, 3. 2, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. Right? Then plus i, i is the unit matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 for 3 by 3. So just to separate the matrix, we get the answer. So 1 by 9 into. So first multiply with minus, we get minus 4, plus 3, minus 6, minus 3. 2 minus 2 minus 4 0 2 minus 5 then multiply with 3 3 0 9 6 3 minus 3 3 minus 1 sorry 3 minus 3 3 plus 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so which is equal to 
1 by 9 into addition of 3 matrices. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. 3, 3 plus 0, 3, 3 plus 0, 3. Then minus 6 plus 9 is plus 3, plus 3 plus 0. Minus 3 plus 6 plus 3. Minus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. Minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 minus 7 plus 0. And then 0 plus 3 3. 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1. Minus 5 plus 3 minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. Which is the required matrix A inverse. Using Kelvin Hamilton theorem. Then what is the next step? To find A power 4. Last step. Step number I think 3, right? To find A power 4. To find A power 4 using Cayley Hamilton theorem. Don't find directly A cube into A, that is A power 4. Question is to find A power 4 using CHD. What is CHD? We know that by Cayley Hamilton theorem, that is step number 2. By Cayley Hamilton theorem, step number 2, what is that? A cube minus 3A square. Plus minus a plus 99 equal to 0. We want to find a power 4. Therefore, throughout multiply by a. So multiply by a on both sides. So multiply a on both sides. We we'll get so multiply with a. We get a power 4 minus 3 a power 3 minus a power 2 plus 9 a equal to 0. We want to find a power 4. So keep a power 4 in the left hand side and then remain, bring the remaining term to the right hand side. So 3 a cube plus a square minus a. Substitute the values. Substitute the value of a cube, a square and a. What is a cube? A cube is a cube value is 4 minus 9, 21, 11 minus 2, 11, 1 minus 7, 7, plus a square, a square, a square matrix is 4 minus 3, 6, 3, 2, 4, 0 minus 2, 5. Minus 9 a. a is the given matrix. Given matrix is 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. So we get, so just multiply 4 3s are 12, 3 9s are 27, 63, then 3 11s are 33, minus 6, 33. 3 minus 21 plus 21 plus 4 minus 3 6 3 2 4 0 minus 2 5 then multiply with 9 minus right here minus multiply with 9 9 0 27 then 9 2 is 18 9 1 is 9 minus 9 9 Minus 9, 9. So if we subtract these, if we subtract these 3 matrices, we get the answer. So subtraction of 3 matrices. If you subtract the 3 matrices, we get 7 minus 13, 42, 18 minus 13, 46, minus 6, minus 14, minus 7. So if you subtract these 3 matrices, we get the answer A power 4. So to find A inverse and A power 4 using Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Thank you.